Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of The Sims 4 Disney Princess Challenge. Well, that was quite an abrupt introduction. While I was dealing with Mickey's provisions, as he moved out in the last episode, Cinderella suddenly went into labor. Didn't give me any warning. Yeah, as soon as Cinderella's out of the toilet, we'll send them to hospital. She's not Snow White, she's not going to be afraid of an old woman tending to her baby, so I think there's no harm in going to the hospital together. <laughs> Look at kids just freaking out, but also thinking about food. Why are you so sad? Oh, it's because he's feeling very bad for Cinderella. I think the fact that she's so uncomfortable is just making him really, really worried. There's no need to worry, Kit. You'll be fine. I've never actually come across a sim that is just so anxious about the birth. Oh, he seems to be doing a bit of a shoddy job. <gasps> oh my god! Just took out a heart! Oh, it's a baby boy! Oh, not a baby girl, but... That's okay. This is like a guinea pig for Cinderella's mothering skills. We've got two more attempts to make, so of course this is a Disney. <laughs> Finally, this is the name I was going to give the seventh child of Snow White until she gave birth to Clarabelle. So I finally get to use that name. Walt Disney, welcome to the world! My boy. Oh, he's gone in. <laughs> he's like, oh, how's it going? <laughs> How did it go? Is she okay? Is the baby okay? Well done, Cinderella, for washing your hands. Stay sanitized, people. Oh, it's funny. His profile image is a lot darker. Cinderella, what are you doing? Oh, Kit's gone over. He's already learned how to change the nappies before Cinderella. Okay, so we didn't get a girl. Maybe just before Walt becomes a toddler, I'll get them to try again. But I don't want to do it straight away like with Snow White, because that was a nightmare. Right, um, I think this is a good opportunity to show you what I've changed in the house. Now that all of the Disney children are gone. As you can see, I've added new pictures, so this is a very nice picture of Kit and Cinderella at the wedding arch. You can't really make out the arch because it's quite close in. And I replaced the um, Snow White wedding photo with their own official wedding photo. They look so beautiful together. They just look like a hot Hollywood couple. Upstairs, I've changed some things, so of course I cleared out the rooms, uh, removed the beds, so... There's space for the girls and space for the boys. But because Cinderella's not going to have as many children as Snow White, I've reduced the size of the girls' room and instead extended the bathroom. Oh, I can see a little bit of ash here. I think that was from a fire some time ago. But yeah, I've extended the bathroom and so um, I could fit in a bathtub as well as a shower combo. So it's just a bit more spacious bit too spacious for my taste. I prefer actually things that are a little bit cramped, things more economic. It's just too much space, personally, but that's what happens when, you know, you start off with Snow White who has so many kids that I had to cram everything, but now she's got so much space because she's just gonna have a few kids. The paintings of the kids in their beds, um, I've just put them in the family inventory. They're not really part of the family anymore. I did keep Cinderella's baby bed though. There she is. Look at how much family inventory stuff I've got. It's because after Meanie moved into the household, she took everything from the house and put it into our family inventory. So this is basically the furniture from Meanie and Daisy's house. I am going to sell all of these things and I've done that actually outside of recording so as you can see the household funds have increased exponential amount. Uh, but I've kept some of the things actually. I've kept a little barbecue so they have a little patio and they can cook some barbecues outside in a nice summer. Oh so I've moved the garden a little bit. It's still the same size but I made space for a little graveyard. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit grim, but, you know, I've got to contain the graves of Mickey and Snow White. Obviously, Snow White is officially dead, whereas Mickey has just got a plaque. He's still alive and well, but he's left his gravestone behind. I'm going to keep the entire generation of Disney princesses and family members in this grave plot. I don't want anyone to access the graves because it's just such faff. 
watching them crying and mourning over them. They just feel miserable. I made sure that they are barred from the graveyard. It's just there to let everyone know that they existed and now they've passed on. Actually, speaking of which, I'm gonna release her spirit. I'd said, as soon as Mickey and Donald and Cinderella get married, it's time for Snow White to go. Farewell, Snow White. Oh, that is very weird. Cinderella's just right through the gate. <laughs> There's like no barrier. She just walks right through it. Kit has gone straight to the barbecue. He's trying it out. Well, just when I said I released Snow White into the Neverworld, I don't think we're going to ever let her go because she's still texting us. All right, this is concerning because Kit is now cooking at every opportunity. He made grilled chicken barbecue and now he's making something else. I kind of want you to be more economic with food, please. Wait, so you cook grilled chicken, which is excellent. You cook garden salad, which is also excellent. But then in the end, you decide to help yourself to a very simple apple sauce. What are your priorities, Kit? Oh, I got an idea. Why don't we invite all the Disney family members to have a look at Walt? No, Henry is not invited. Uh, let's get Barnabas Collins, who suddenly became her very best friend. We'll have to get Anastasia over, unfortunately. Daisy, Donald, Drizella, Mickey, Meanie, Clarabelle, Alice. Who else? Josiah Potts? The doctor that delivered the baby has also become a friend, so yeah, he can come. Why are you wearing your hospital gown? Oh, he looks grumpy today. What's going on? Oh, it's because of kids. Oof, yeah, that's going to be very awkward, but come on, this is your nephew. Your reaction is very indifferent. <laughs> oh no, she's happy. She's happy. Oh my god, Barnabas colleagues look so cool. Nini, I name you the godmother of my little boy, Walt. Oh, I feel so bad for Walt because he was sleeping at the time. Oh, oh, this is really dramatic. <gasps> oh no, what is going on? Could you step aside? Auntie Clarabelle is coming through. Oh, I'm starting to think this house party was a bad idea. She's not in a mood now. Oh dear. I think it's because of Mickey. Oh no, Mickey's actually fine. Or it could be Drizella. Drizella's in the bad mood. Yeah, Kit's trying to pacify the whole situation, but Drizella's just like, nah, I don't like this at all. I think it's because this is her enemy and she's just super jealous of her as well. Oh no, the doctor aged up. He's gonna be the cool uncle, most definitely. Well, I do appreciate you helping yourself to food in the fridge. It really helps because I've just got so much. You have no idea. Oh my God, Mickey. Here, I'll change your mind about kids. Don't you think this is the most adorable little baby you've ever seen? Mickey's just not impressed. <laughs> oh no, he doesn't mind him so much. He's officially the godfather of little Walt, whether he likes it or not. Almost the entire family, it's only the bullies. The bullies haven't seen the baby properly. Thank you for coming, everyone. 3.28 AM. Kit has already started setting the house on fire with the oven. Why are you feeling so cold? Surely the fire from the oven is keeping you nice and toasty. Oh, nice. Walt's birthday's almost soon. I think that's a good time for them to try again. I love having kids. Let's have another one. The next day. To be honest, I think Kit is looking after Walt much better than Cinderella's doing. <laughs> she gets so distracted with other things that by the time she's ready to look after Walt, Kit is already there. Woo! She got a raise! Yay! It has been a while since you got back to your babysitting job. Yay! She's pregnant again! Now let's hope it's a girl. Oh, it's Walt's birthday as well. Oh, good timing. Whoa! What the hell? What is this vampire doing in our house? Right, can you tell him to go away, please? This is absolutely rude. This Edward Cullen look-alike. With your silly haircut. Go away! We'll call the police. Look, even Kit is thinking, I'm probably going to call the police. Cinderella, you're not supposed to have a conversation with him. You're supposed to tell him to go away. Oh, what? No. Cinderella, this is not the good time. You need to get this vampire out of here. There you go. So long. Farewell. That was a very strange occasion. 
Okay, once Cinderella wakes up, I will age Walt up. And we're gonna have to make sure that we do lots of girly things so that we get a higher chance of having a girl. It's listening to pop music and eating strawberries. I'm gonna check if I have strawberries in the fridge. We should have, yes. We have one, actually. Mm. Let's check in the garden if we've got any more. No, I don't think they're in harvest. That's a bit annoying. Well, we'll have that one strawberry then and then listen to as much pop music as possible. Actually, you do have earbuds, yeah. Yay, Walty! You're going to be a big boy now. Right, I am going to let my phone decide. Pick a number from one to eight. Six. He's a fussy child. <laughs> oh my goodness, he looks like Kit! Oh, so cute! <laughs> we're gonna keep this bassinet because we've got another one on the way. I'll give you the Mickey bird. Why don't you go upstairs and work out a little bit? It's okay, he can take care of himself. Look at him, he's playing happily on the tablet. Okay, Walt's very sad because he's very cold. It's okay, it's okay, you just get your winter outfit. I don't know, getting into a tantrum, not good. <gasps> he's got some trendy little glasses! Oh, so cool! You're so cool, little Walt! Maybe you should be in the fashion industry. I mean, you're fussy, you've got an acquired taste. So, you've got a career set out for you. Oh, he's so pretty! He's got his mum's eyes. Do you know what I've just discovered? You can do first person camera. I don't know why I've never discovered it before. If you select shift tab, you can see her first person. So yeah, you can see what she's doing, what she's looking at. She's looking at the painting. Oh, oh, she's looking at the window now. She's looking at her room. Oh, look at that. So cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, and then for a moment you see your headless body. Yay, Kit has been promoted. Well done. Yeah, that means more money. Oh, there's Charlie Chaplin straying along in the dark. He's missing a cane. Kit, you're obviously very tired. You've had a long day at work, so just have your little nap on the floor. Oh my goodness, what just happened? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why is Walt coming out of the bed like that? That was so creepy. Oh no, don't do that again, please. The next morning. It's fully winter and Cinderella is nice and plump with her next baby. So she's listening to pop music nearly 24-7. Oh, Mickey's inviting us to GeekCon. Yeah, sure. Let's bring the whole family. Oh my goodness, Um, I forgot to mention that... <laughs> I added the height slider mod, which means that depending on shoe size, everyone's heights vary. <laughs> and Charlie Chaplin is enormous. <laughs> oh, because of his enormous shoes. <laughs> He's supposed to be the shortest. <laughs> to be honest, I like this. Oh, so Cinderella is out here drinking with Flame Boy over here. Oh, he's actually Sparrow. Oh, so he's Jack Sparrow's kid. Caesar, such as all. I think it's Caesar. I just call him Flame Boy. Oh, look at him go. He's so chill. Despite being a fussy kid, he's a very well-behaved boy. Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> he's enormous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, there's Lady Tremaine. In no way related to Cinderella. Oh, there's a whole family! There's Donald with Meanie. Oh, Meanie's got some glasses today. And there's Daisy. Oh, Daisy's quite big, actually. She must have big feet then. And there's Mickey. Cinderella's not very geeky today. She's just having drinks. Very naughty of her. And Walt's just watching the bartender. He's just wondering, what is this? Making such cool looking drinks. Can I have one? And Cinderella's like, no, no, Walt. You are too young for that. Oh, look at Kit. He's just watching. He looks so happy. He's like, I'm so proud of your dad. Life is good for me. Oh my goodness. It's pain. It's Hades' dog. Hades' minion. She's like Hades' girlfriend, I suppose. Because I got Hades and Princess Death to live with each other. She basically owns pain. Wow, we've got some big guys here. Jesse Huntington the third. Oh, this is Mary Poppins' kid. What are you doing with pain? Why is everyone picking on pain? Oh, poor pain. What have you done to deserve this pain? Yeah, he doesn't look very nice. Oh, it's Sophie. This is from Howl's Moving Castle. Oh, the Joker. He's very small. <laughs> he 
he's so big he's gone through the table. <laughs> I'm really into Attack on Titan, and just, this is just giving me Attack on Titan vibes. Oh, that's Jack-Jack. Oh, he's so ugly. <laughs> Do you know what? He, he looks so much like Syndrome. This is so suspicious. <laughs> Cinderella has woken up considerably early for Winterfest. It's a blizzard out there. I don't know what Kit has been doing. He hasn't slept all night. As a rule, I'm not controlling him, I'm just doing, letting him do whatever he wants, but clearly he's not looking after himself very well. What is wrong with you, Kit? <laughs> he ran really fast. We're gonna get everyone over for Christmas. For Winterfest, I mean. Let's get the tree out. Well, at least uh, Kit's got the energy to decorate. What's like, what are they doing? Why are they putting random stuff on this green plant? Uh, Kit, would you be able to help out? Probably not. They're way too busy with a tree. Time for your first bath, Walt. Kit, what are you doing? Oh, really? You're actually doing it? Kit, you're such a good dad. Oh, no. She peed herself. Oh. He needs to scrub her clean, too. We'll do that first. And then we will call the guests. Oh, Henry. <laughs> that is very awkward. He's shorter than Cinderella. We need to have the entire family. <gasps> so cool i thought she's so unflirty that is so cool we need to know how this happened yay uncle mickey the wizard oh my god anastasia how are you not freezing cold in that outfit wow daisy you're like a model seriously you're the perfect height and you're so slender oh i wish mickey can help me fix the toilet I'm very happy to see people help themselves to food. Even Clarabelle is getting ancient cake from the fridge. Yay, he's opening a present of his own. I'm so happy that you're happy, Walt. Alice, I can't believe it. You, of all people, you're actually married? Is there a kid on the way? Then she's probably saying, oh, not anytime soon. Oh, I should have invited Sweeney Todd, actually. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. The whole family. Where is the Santa Claus, actually? Why hasn't he come over? <laughs> Good luck with you guys. Hopefully you can make it out alive in this blizzard. Oh, here is Father Winter. Uh, welcome back, Josiah. I mean, Father Winter. It's so nice to see a man so happy with his food. Oh, Father Winter's come to ask little Walt if he's a good or bad boy. Oh, so cute. Oh, I should ask him to uh, give us a present so we can finish off the holiday checklist. Oh, she got a bad present. There was literally nothing in the present other than sadness and lies. <gasps> How could you, Father Winter? You are so cruel. She gave you free food. And what'd you give her in return? A box of nothing. Oh, yes. It's happening. Cinderella is about to pop. I'd rather go alone because I don't want to leave Walt alone. Aw, nice to see Vision is still around and actually being productive. Wait a minute. When you helped deliver Walt, you were a doctor. How did you get demoted to a nurse? Oh, that's creepy. That's the first time I've seen a room with a skeleton in it. Ooh, how interesting. We got ghost doctors here. What the hell? He took our heart as well. Oh my god. This doctor is just as bad. I think that's why the previous doctor got demoted. Yes, we have our Disney princess. And this one is going to be Tiana from the Princess and the Frog movie. She's one of my favorite Disney princesses of all time. Tiana, welcome to the world. Oh, she's got such pretty skin. Oh, there's Walt. And he's taking a look at his new baby sister. How do you feel, Walt? No, he's not happy at all. Oh, no. Don't worry, Walt. This is the only sibling you're going to have. I think from now on, because we've got a girl, we've got what we wanted. We don't need to plan any more children. I mean, it's up to Cinderella and Kit if they want another kid, but they can only have one more kid. But I think this is just good enough. Just have two kids. That's it. I'm surprised that she's got that much energy after delivering a baby. Oh, what happened here? What the- Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? What the hell happened? He just flew out of the bathtub! We 
just had a random phone call from Mickey and he spread some juicy gossip about Donald. Ooh, I wonder what. Is it to do with him and Daisy? Have they finally started a family? I'm just gonna check the family tree to see if there are any changes. Okay, so here's Cinderella and Kit and they've got two children. Gisela's still single. Mickey's obviously got Meanie, but they don't have any children yet. There's Donald. I don't think they got kids yet. Maybe she's pregnant? I don't know. Clarabelle obviously hasn't got anybody. Anastasia. Alice, of course, has... Wait, what? What? Who the hell's Matty? Oh! This is interesting. So, Sweeney Todd had a kid with somebody else. This woman here. And they had one kid, Matty. And now Alice has adopted him as the stepmother. That's really cool. Kit has gone to work, leaving Cinderella alone, and the kids are awake, and they're not very happy. Oh dear. Walt's having a tantrum, because he's not coping with the crying baby. Oh my goodness. All right, all right, all right, calm down. I'm gonna get you food, calm down. You're just scaring the baby with your screaming. All right, Cinderella's gonna teach him some manners, because uh, after all, she's been brought up to have very good manners and empathy, and I think she would love to pass it on to her children. Well, I can imagine Walt is very difficult to manage. Yeah, look, she's already given up on him. Oh, great. <laughs> I feel really bad for Walt. The fact that every time Tiana cries, Walt just wakes up and is not very happy at all. Oh no, Kit, why are you cooking again? I know you really, really want to finesse your skills and be as good as Cinderella, but you're making this broke girl cry, please. There's so much leftovers. No, Kit, stop. Just stop cooking. You're wasting so much money. What are you doing? You can't just leave it like that. Oh, Cinderella has to look after it, otherwise it's going to burn the garden. Mmm. South American meat platter. Ooh, that is very exotic. Mmm, delicious 8-bit quality food. Oh, not again. Can you just shut up, please? I'm trying to sleep here. Oh, Kit, you're looking nice. Why is he so sparkly today? You know what? I am going to buy a baby chair. The poor baby has to go outside to sit down and eat his food. I think at this point, Walt hates his sister so much. You are causing me misery. I'm just trying to sleep. Please, give me some peace. Finally, it is New Year's Eve and it's also Tiana's birthday. Yay. Okay, what is Kit doing? Does he not know how to go to the toilet? You are completely out of control when I don't control you. And you've broken the TV as well. Well, that's your responsibility. You're going to fix this. We're going to arrange a New Year's party. Do you know what I am going to bring, Henry? I mean, he's just a friend acquaintance now in the new year i think she would love to just start afresh put their toxic relationship behind them oh anastasia and Trisella. i don't think she wants to bring those two there's no way she can fix things with them i think they're meant to be enemies for life i realize i did the party way too early it's nine in the morning <laughs> they're no way ready i wanted to schedule it uh, what what is barnabas doing He's having a mud bath in the Dory bathtub. What the hell? That kind of thing is not allowed. Right, step aside. I'm going to... Oh, Henry. Hello. Oh my God, he's gone up to Tiana. He's having a chat with her. Okay. Oh, he's actually getting along really well with Tiana. That is such a surprise. Wow. Who would have thought he was a family man too? All right, I am aging you up. Pick a number from one to eight. Two. <gasps> Yay! She's just as angelic as her mother. Oh, like mother like daughter. Oh my god, what a crowd. <laughs> what a crowd. <laughs> and she looks very similar to Walt. It's weird because when she was a newborn, she was very dark. And now she's the same skin colour as her brother. Look at her. Everyone is socialising, getting along with each other. Henry's really short. <laughs> Donald and Henry are similar height. And then there's Daisy, who is built like an Amazonian queen. All right, how's Kit feeling? Where is he anyway? Oh my god, the whole time you've been watching TV? What is wrong with you? I think he locked himself in here. <laughs> I don't know how the hell he got up here then. He's so tiny, I'm worried that his family will start trampling all over him. Do some potty training. 
Oh my god, you can ask your uncle? Yeah. Why not? Let's bring Mickey into this. He probably has no idea what to do, but if Walt demands it, he's got to follow his orders. He's the bossy boots of the family. Uncle, you must teach me how to potty. Mickey's like, what? You asking me out of all people? <laughs> Mickey's probably just very shocked to be told what to do by a child. Oh my god, I can't believe how small Henry is <laughs> compared to Cinderella. <laughs> so awkward. Oh, Mickey's off. He's like, away from the stink. Right, we're gonna make Tiana the most well-mannered child ever. You have no idea how important it is to have fine manners, because when you have fine manners, you can just make friends with just one handshake. Take it from Cinderella. Okay, this is a good place to end the episode. We have two beautiful children, one of them being the third Disney princess. And we've had a series of parties that were quite fun. I'm looking forward to seeing Tiana grow up and start her own story. It's not mentioned when exactly her story will start, probably when she's a kid or close to teenagehood. But for now, uh, she's just going to have a nice ordinary life. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'm really sorry this took forever to make, but I'm glad to be back. Also, I am planning to make a new series and it'll be super, super fun. I'm looking forward to showing you that one. But I'm still continuing with the Disney Princess one. It's just I want to have a little change. Stick around for the new series. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.